What's going on everybody, welcome back. So if you're not sure about the differences between the paid and free plans with HubSpot, today I'm gonna to be talking a little bit about them and just give you a quick brief overview of what HubSpot is all about if you're still not sure whether or not it's a good choice for you and your situation. If you'd like to get started with the 14 day trial, I'll leave it in the description down below and I'll also link you straight to the pricing or discounts. Either way, you should be able to grab HubSpot for free. There's their free plan, obviously, but there's also the 14 day free trial, which will give you access to the paid plan for 14 days. Now, let's start with the free plan. Obviously, this requires no credit card at all, and it includes foundational tools across marketing, uh, sales, service, CMS or content management system operations and commerce now this is going to be suited for new businesses uh, startups or individuals just exploring digital marketing sales and service tools without financial commitment so it's great for those wanting a taste of hotspots offerings without having to pay anything and considering that this is free it's actually one of the best customer relationship managers and you can also store all of your contacts and manage them here it's a great tool but what gives you even more is the paid version now this starts at $20 per month if you're going for the annual plan and if you're paying monthly it'll be $30 and this includes essential software for marketing with a limit of a thousand contacts and you have two paid users for the sales hub starter same thing with the service as well as CMS operations and commerce and this is perfect for growing businesses or those with a clear let's say digital strategy in place, especially for businesses that need to integrate uh, marketing, sales and customer service activities, but are still operating on a budget. Again, to sum it all up, the free tools plan is great for beginners, startups or small businesses dipping their toes into digital marketing. It's great for those that want to try out the basic tools without any financial commitment, whereas the starter plan is great for businesses or solo entrepreneurs that need a little more than the basics. And this is for folks who are starting to get more strategic about their online presence, but aren't necessarily big enough to need all the advanced bells and whistles just yet. It's perfect for those that want a mix of marketing, sales, and customer service tools on a budget. In essence, if you're just starting out or testing the waters, the free tools plan is great to just get you started. And again, I'll leave the link in the description for the 14 day free trial uh, of the paid plan right here. Because if you're serious about growing and enhancing your online strategy, the starter plan is definitely more than tailored for your needs. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in again, trying it out, you'll find the link to the free trial in the description down below. And either way, you can start with the free tools plan. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with future videos. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.